I'm Steven Tucker and I'm 27 years old and I'm from Gallatin, Tennessee. Well, it all started the 1st of September. We were shelling corn on a farm that we leased just a row crop. And my uncle, we were finished and we were leaving, headed to the trucks. My uncle called me and said, uh, you gotta see this deer. And I thought, I didn't think nothing about it. I didn't think it'd be nothing like what it is. When he come out in front of me, he stood there for about 15 seconds and I, I, I didn't, couldn't believe what I was seeing. I'm like, am I really seeing that? Bow hunted him a little early on and quit. I was afraid I'd get in there and stink it up and run him out. Waited on muzzleloader. I was shooting a night disc, 50 caliber. I was shooting a 250 grain bullet and 100 grains of powder. I'm 27 now and I got it when I was 15. I would drive to where the farm where I hunted and my underwear and a t-shirt and dump my clothes out of a bag and put my, I mean, I'd wash my clothes and all that and get centered up real good. Monday morning, he come back out at probably 15, 20 minutes after daylight. I rolled around to my right to try to see because I thought it was on my right and I opened that window up. I had it closed because the day before a doe skylighted me through it. Peeled that window back and I didn't see anything and I spun around back to the left. He was standing there I don't know, about 30 yards when I first saw him, and he was looking right at the blind. As soon as he started walking, I grabbed my muzzleloader, and he was looking broadside at me. He was broadside at 40 yards, and I squeezed the trigger off, and I shot through the netting of my ground blind, and the smoke filled my ground blind up, and I couldn't, I couldn't see where I shot him. The last thing I saw of him was his tail, and it was up, and he was running off in the thicket. I waited probably an hour, a little over an hour. I had friends and family come out there to help me try to find him. I couldn't find any blood for about the first 50 yards. And then we were about to give up. We said, we'll go on out to the way the blood was going. We'll go on into the next cornfield and see if he's laying out in that. Well, before we could even get to that other cornfield, going to the thicket, the blood trail just opened up. It was a lot of blood. About 20, 30 more yards, there we looked up and there he laid. Down off in the thicket, down off in kind of like in a gully. Walking up on him, you, you can't describe it. I was. I, I couldn't, couldn't believe it. I mean, it was all I had on my mind from the 1st of September till November 7th, it was uh, just, I don't know, you can't explain it. My dad shot a knife, so the first year he, he shot a shooter night, but for as old as it is, it still works. I mean, it's dependable. I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's always worked for me. I mean, why, I don't want to go out and, I've never had the interest in going buying another one. It, it shoots just good to me as any of the rest of them. Shot the world record. What do, you, what do you do now? What are you gonna do? I just keep on hunting. I mean, my, I mean, I'm not gonna make it. Let me quit. I still like to go out and watch deer, and I, I love to duck hunt and both of that. I mean, I'm still gonna keep hunting. Still gonna keep deer hunting. So, if anything, it's kind of made me want to go even more. Sure.